Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I thought I would do like a mini reset routine. So it's really early by the way, so sorry for all the birds. But yeah, I thought I would do like a reset routine. We're coming to the end of September, so I kind of wanted to just reset, ready for the new month of October. The last few months I've kind of been like a bit all over the place. I've been on a few like trips, a few holidays. And I feel like I just need to like get back into my routine, get back into the swing of things but also like we're changing seasons so i just feel like i needed a bit of a refresh a bit of a reset so yesterday i had like a big closet wardrobe clear out we'll include a little mini clip here so i just had like a mini well i say mini but not really mini just had a bit of a clear out um i got rid of like some stuff in my room went through like my wardrobe and my drawers and stuff and then we also have like a cupboard downstairs that has like all coats in and old shoes that no one really like reaches for on the regular so i went through there and i got rid of like five or six coats and a few pairs of old shoes as well as well um so yeah i got rid of quite a lot of stuff i have like three bags so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it because some of it is like brand new with tags like you can see in there and then some of it is like older stuff and then this morning it's currently about half past eight so it's quite early um i've just tidied my room like completely bleached cleaned hoovered everywhere we are like caught up i think we are up to date but i am going to get my hair done so my appointment is at nine that's why i'm up and ready so early but yeah i thought this would also be like a good part of the reset routine but yeah anyways i will catch up with you when i'm back from my hair appointment i have a few things that i still need to like tick off my list before i feel like prepped for the new month so we will just discuss all that when i come back hello guys so i'm back hair is done and all fresh she is very blonde gray silver but i love it i hate yellow blonde hair on myself so it needs to be like as gray and ashy as possible so yeah we are feeling all fresh it is very weird to see myself without roots so hair is all fresh and i have literally nothing planned um which is a bit sad but like i said we are doing like a reset so i feel like fresh hair is perfect for this anyways so like i already said i've done like a bit of like a cleaning clear out montage that was kind of all done yesterday to like prep me for today so i was at the hairdressers for quite a while it is now half past 12 so i'm gonna like grab some lunch and stuff and then i have just a few things that i want to do in order to like prep myself for the new month I just have like some plans, some journaling, some goals that I need to write down, just things like that to go through. Might have a little bit of a pamper later as well. As of right now though, I am, like I said, going to make some dinner and a cup of tea and just read for a little bit. So this is like a huge part, I think, of like my reset routine but for every day. If I have been out for a few hours, I need to like recharge my social battery. Just have like, even if it's just half an hour to myself, just to sit and read, sit and watch a show, sit and go on my phone, literally anything just to sit in like quiet pretty much and like recharge myself. Don't know if that's weird, but one thing about me is I will find alone time no matter where. So my current read is Bear Town. Um, I am a about 300 pages in i think let's see 319 i think there's about 450 so i have just over 100 pages left um i'm gonna read a little bit of this not for very long i'm literally only gonna read for the time that it takes me to drink my cup of tea um so that i can then get on with like the rest of my tasks for today which aren't very many
So I've read for a little bit, I've made a little bit of a dent in the rest of the book that I had, hopefully I'll finish that later tonight, but I just kind of want to get on with doing my journaling, or like my goals, planning, whatever for the, for the new month. I've got my recap, gratitude, and then I've got what am I letting go of, and then I have my October intentions, October goals, and October themes. So I'm going to do my little September bit, I'll write it down in a sec, but overall september i've had a pretty good month i went on holiday like at the beginning of september and i had a really nice time that was really nice but then i feel like since i came back i've kind of been a little bit all over the place i feel just a bit out of the swing of things with like i said being on holiday like i went on holiday in august was actually home for like two weeks and then went on holiday again which i'm not complaining about because i had the best time but i feel just a little bit out of the swing of things a bit out of my routine which is what this video is all about but anyways okay so then i have my october intentions goals and themes basically my themes for october are pumpkin spice everything getting in the mood for autumn listening to red taylor's version knit sweaters i am entering my rory gilmore era so i will just write things like that i don't really have like specific things my goals I have a few, a few sort of more personal ones, budgeting ones and like social media ones which I know can be maybe a bit strange but my goals regarding that last month I've hit them on my Instagram book account though, not my personal account. Personal account is like gone honestly, like it is, she's died of some death in terms of like I barely post on there I mean I do post more than normal people still but like compared to what I used to I've just kind of I'm a bit like not over it but I definitely enjoy at the minute TikTok YouTube and posting on my book Instagram more than posting on my personal Instagram um anyways so I've reached out on my book Instagram my TikTok and my YouTube like I have gone over the goals so i know like they might be weird things to some people to kind of like have goals for but i just like to keep track of things like this way it helps me keep track and that if i look back over the year i can kind of be like oh well i had that then not that i'm like bothered really like if i didn't meet them goals like i wouldn't like cry myself to sleep over it like i said i haven't met the one for my personal instagram not bothered in the slightest but for like my book instagram my tiktok and my youtube i feel like i have a little mini community in like you know this little corner of the internet that we have here so it's nice to kind of like monitor that progress so anyways i'm gonna do a few of them i'm not gonna say what they are because evil eye is real um but i'm gonna write some of them down and then what else am i up to the goals i really want to spend less time on my phone but like whilst i was on holiday i was obviously barely on my phone so then when I came back home, my screen time has like skyrocketed. Like I literally got a notification the first week that I was back saying that my screen time was up by like 80%, which was horrifying to see. But then I suppose it, I mean, not that my screen time is like good. My screen time is like four hours a day, which is quite bad. But it was up by 80% because I was literally spending like less than an hour on my phone when I was on holiday. But I do want to get my screen time down. So what I think I'm going to do is put restrictions like time limits on my apps which i don't know to me that feels like a bit of an extreme thing to do but i think then it'll help hold me accountable and kind of keep track of how much time i'm spending on my phone because i feel like i do at the minute a lot of mindless scrolling um i do think that reading helps me a lot with that because on a night i will like read instead on my dinner at work i read instead of going on my phone for like an hour which i do like i think that is everything on most of my goals there so I'm just gonna go and write them all down get them all sorted when we are having like a bit of a pamper starting our little night routine I'm back 
back again so it's a little bit later in the afternoon I went for a little walk and honestly just did like little bits that I had to do not really anything interesting and I've just been reading so that's about it just yeah went for a walk and then been reading have a little bit left of my book but I'm gonna start like my night routine a little bit early but I have been so tired so I'm just gonna get started on that so that I can get curled up in bed and like I said finish my book maybe watch Girl More Girls or something like that but yeah I just thought I'd check in because I think I'm gonna do a face mask and then I'm gonna have a nice bubble bath and kickstart my night routine I'm so sorry. I know it's all in the name of self-care, but these are literally horrifying. Also, whose face are these designed to fit? Because I know it's not mine. <laughs> 